Hi, this is Suga Sit from Design Plus Gold. Today, we will talk about dark mode UV design. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's do it. Okay, before we get started, we will discuss about the um, resource. So for inspiration, I recommend you to go on this website. So I tap dark UI design and for today we will create a wallet application design. You can see that I'm not the only one that wants to use dark theme for my design. You can see this one. It's very, very nice. And this one too is very nice. And now what font should you use? I recommend you to use San Francisco because it's a system font. But if you build in for Android, go with Roboto. If you want to try something new, go to Google and tap top UI phone. Like I say, Roboto for Android. I never tried this one. And of course, San Francisco that I'm going to use for today. So if you don't have it, go to Apple Design Resource and download this phone. And for the illustration, you can go to Figma community so you can have it for free. They have 3D illustration. And for today, we need San Francisco symbol tree that you have to download. They have a lot of symbol. So you should download it for today. Now we're going to discuss about dark mode. So this is my design for today. And what is dark mode? Dark mode is a UI design theme display light text on a dark background instead of the black text on the white background. What you need to know is a word white and a black background. Instead, I recommend you to use a dark green to reduce the opacity of your white text. So I put 87% for the opacity. Now, what you need to know is a word color saturation. So you have to pick the best color palette for dark them. So here's low saturate color. Example, I take red. I'm gonna add fill, put white, 20%. So I just tone it down. And if you want to make it darker, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna add dark and 20%. And now my red is darker. Now, if I want to use blue, I'm going to do the same thing. Now it's more lighter. This blue to be darker. So can you see? It's very painful to look at. So I will tone it down. So this is my color palette for today. So now that you are ready, so let's do it, guys. So I'm going to use this dark gray for my background. Okay, now I'm going to add status bar. I'm going to click on dark mode. I'm going to add home indicator and dot. I'm going to duplicate. So for my design, I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm just going to do a wave background. I'm going to fill with linear. So play with the direction and put it in your frame. So I'm going to add my title, San Francisco for display 13 fall. Okay, and I use ball. For the opacity, put 18.7%. So my illustration is from Sally. Thank you, Sally. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to create a login button, but I'm going to change my phone to San Francisco Protex. This is going to be 50 and semi -ball. And I'm going to create an auto layout. So shift plus A. Now it's an auto layout. I'm going to take this color. So for my dimension, I'm going to put 218. And here I'm going to put 39, put it center, 30 on the radius, go to alignment and padding, put it 
in the center. Now I'm gonna add a separator here, rectangle to draw your line. Put it in the center. I'm gonna add a text. So San Francisco put text, semi ball. I'm gonna change the size of my text. I'm gonna put 13. Okay, so I'm gonna select my login button, my separator, and my text here. Yeah, I'm gonna do an auto layer. So there you go, you have your first screen. And now we're gonna do the second screen. Wait, we don't see the statue bar. So we have to put it in the top. Duplicate. And I'm gonna delete everything. So for this second screen, it's gonna be about the balance and recent transaction. So draw a rectangle. The dimension is gonna be 349. And 95. Put it in the center. I'm gonna add 30 on the corner radius. I'm gonna fill solid. Take the color white. Okay, I'm gonna only use 10% opacity. So here's San Francisco for display 24. So I'm gonna add a auto layout. I'm gonna white total balance so my size i'm gonna put it tens again i'm gonna create a auto layout so i'm gonna select my rectangle the amount and total balance so group them together okay now we're gonna add category so drive a, a cube my dimension is gonna be 80 and 80 20 from for the corner radius white color and only 10 percent so you're gonna need a icon add a text at the bottom i create my own icon so i draw by myself it's very easy to do your own icon of course if you don't have a time i suggest you to download san francisco symbol tree so this is my account i did it very fast so i'm gonna select my text my icon and the cube i'm gonna group them together and i'm gonna duplicate four more what you need to do is to find a new icon so this place is gonna be receive statistic and payment now i'm gonna draw a rectangle and inside this rectangle, I'm going to write all my recent transaction. So the dimension is going to be 390, 390, 20 corner radius. And now I'm going to need logo. So once you download Symbol San Francisco, click on it and search for your icon that you need. Okay, so guys, what I just did. Okay, let's create a bar. So draw a rectangle. The dimension is going to be 390 and 83. I'm going to put 30 and a quarter radius. I'm going to use the color white. I'm going to put pens. I'm going to add stock. Use the color white, 20%. So I'm going to add effect 60. And now I'm going to find my icon. Select this five icon, create auto layer. Okay. And then I'm going to group them together. So my icon and the rectangle. Command G. And something is missing on this page. Aha, uh -huh, my name and my logo. So I'm going to add like hi and my name and a logo okay for the hello the size i use 13 and for my name i use 30 i'm gonna do my logo very simple draw a circle and fill with a photo choose your photo so voila i just change the dimension to 50 instead of 30 so voila for my second so let's move to the next step again we're gonna duplicate 
and I'm gonna delete everything except the start bar and the tall bar. So I forget to mention, you have to drag your home indicator with your tall bar. So put it inside to be in one group like this. And this screen, what it's missing? I'm gonna add card and statistic. So again, I draw my own card, but I think that you can find in Figma community. I find one. So I can take his design or I can take my design. So it's up to you guys. Okay, I just write your card and you have three active cards. For my title, I always use 34. For this deck, I use 13. Okay, now I need dots. So I just go and duplicate this one. Put it in the center. Okay, like this. Okay, for the statistic, you have choice. You can do like a wave <laughs> or a circle. But I'm going to go with something like this. Okay, so we're going to do uh, the statistic. So why you text September. So you wide the mouth. I'm going to do an auto layout. I'm going to fill it. Color is going to be 10%. And my dimension is going to be 50. I'm going to put my text the center 50 and corner radius. I'm going to take this color. So what I'm going to do is duplicate and do the same thing. Change the mode, change the, the size, change the color. Now that you finish, you're going to take your bar and put it on the top. So what is missing is a title. So you're going to write start it. Make sure that your text is aligned with your image. For the size, I put 20. So it's missing something. Last step, we're going to draw a rectangle. My dimension is 352. Nine. Corner radius, five. Put it in the center. Use again the color white and I'm going to copy and pass. I'm going to use this color, okay? Make it smaller. I'm going to add mount, week, and day. As you can see, the statistic, it's for the moon. So on top, you're going to white moon. So when you sweep, it's going to be uh, for the week and sweep here is going to be for the day. So what is missing is a text. So I just want to group them together. So voila, it looks like this. I changed my color. I use San Francisco Protex, bold, and the size is 14. So we are done for today, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed the video and that this video is uh, helpful. I hope that you will use uh, dark mode for your next uh, UI design. So thank you again and see you next time. Bye-bye.